What is a white hole? What is inside of white hole? How are white holes related to black holes? All this answer you will get in this video. What is a white hole? A white hole is a hypothetical celestial object that is the opposite of a black hole. While black holes are known for their immense gravitational pull from which nothing, including light, can escape, white holes are theorized to be regions of space where matter and energy can only emerge and not enter. In this extensive response, we will delve into the concept of white holes, their theoretical properties, the physics behind them, and their place within our current understanding of the universe. To understand white holes, it is essential to first comprehend black holes. Black holes are formed when massive stars collapse under their own gravity, resulting in a region of space with an incredibly dense and compact mass. The gravitational force in a black hole is so intense that it creates what is called an event horizon, a boundary beyond which nothing can escape, not even light. This notion stems from the theory of general relativity, proposed by Albert Einstein in 1915. While black holes have been extensively studied and their existence has been indirectly confirmed through various astrophysical observations, white holes remain purely speculative. The concept of white holes was first introduced by theoretical physicist Igor Novikov in 1964. Novikov hypothesized that if black holes exist as regions from which nothing can escape, there might be corresponding regions in spacetime where matter and energy can only emerge and not enter, a concept he termed white holes. In a mathematical sense, white holes are described by a solution to the equations of general relativity known as the Kerr-Newman metric. This metric describes rotating and charged black holes, and under certain conditions, it can be extended to include white holes. However, it's important to note that the Kerr-Newman metric is highly theoretical, and its connection to real-world astrophysical objects remains uncertain. One possible scenario for the existence of white holes involves the concept of space-time wormholes. A wormhole is a theoretical shortcut in space-time that connects two distant points, or even different universes, it is suggested that a white hole could be connected to a black hole through such a wormhole. In this scenario, matter and energy that fall into a black hole would be expelled from a white hole in a different region of spacetime. However, the existence of wormholes is purely hypothetical and has not been proven or observed. The properties of white holes are largely derived from the idea that they are the reverse of black holes. While black holes are known for their immense gravitational pull, white holes are believed to exhibit a repulsive gravitational force pushing matter and energy away. This is based on the mathematical equations used to describe white holes and the notion that they are time-reverse versions of black holes. If white holes were to exist, they would have distinct observable features. One characteristic is that they would emit energy and matter continuously. This is in stark contrast to black holes, which are known for their ability to swallow matter and emit intense radiation only under specific circumstances, such as the accretion of matter from a companion star or the collision of particles near the event horizon. The continuous emission of energy and matter from white holes would make them highly luminous objects. They would be visible across the electromagnetic spectrum, emitting radiation ranging from radio waves to gamma rays. The energy and matter expelled from white holes would form what is known as a white fountain, a theoretical counterpart to the black fountain of matter and energy falling into a black hole. Due to the repulsive gravitational force, white holes would repel any matter or energy approaching them. This would result in the creation of an outwardly expanding boundary called the white hole horizon. Similar to the event horizon of a black hole, the white hole horizon would delineate the point beyond which matter and energy cannot enter the white hole. Another intriguing aspect of white holes is the potential role of the arrow of time. In our everyday experience, time seems to flow inexorably forward, but the fundamental laws of physics are symmetric under time reversal. However, the existence of white holes suggests a possible violation of this time symmetry. White holes, if they exist, could be viewed as the future counterpart to black holes. Matter and energy falling into a black hole would undergo an irreversible process of gravitational collapse, leading to the formation of a white hole that ejects matter and energy into the universe. While the concept of white holes is fascinating, it is important to reiterate that they are purely theoretical constructs. They have not been observed directly, and there is currently no empirical evidence supporting their existence. The physics of white holes remains highly speculative, and their potential implications for our understanding of the universe are still being explored. White holes are hypothetical celestial objects that are the opposite of black holes. While black holes are known for their gravitational pull from which nothing can escape, 
White holes are theorized to be regions of space where matter and energy can only emerge and not enter. They are connected to black holes through the concept of space-time wormholes, which are theoretical shortcuts in space-time. White holes, if they exist, would emit continuous energy and matter, forming a luminous white fountain. They would have a repulsive gravitational force and possess a white hole horizon, which would delineate the point beyond which matter and energy cannot enter. Despite their intriguing properties, white holes remain speculative and have not been observed or detected in the universe. What is inside of white hole? The concept of a white hole is highly speculative, and since white holes have not been observed or detected, we do not have concrete knowledge of what might be inside of them. However, we can explore some speculative ideas and theoretical possibilities based on current scientific understanding. It's important to note that these ideas are subject to scientific inquiry and may evolve as our knowledge progresses. Exotic matter. Inside a white hole, one possibility is the presence of exotic forms of matter that differ from what we typically encounter in the universe. Exotic matter refers to hypothetical types of matter with unusual properties, such as negative energy density or negative mass. Such exotic matter could play a role in generating the repulsive gravitational force associated with white holes. Space-time curvature. Just as black holes warp and curve space-time, it is conceivable that inside a white hole, space-time might exhibit unusual or extreme curvature. This could manifest as distorted geometries or regions where the fabric of space-time is highly convoluted. Visualizing this could involve depicting warp landscapes or intricate patterns that reflect the unconventional nature of space-time within a white hole. High energy processes. White holes are envisioned as sources of continuous energy and matter emission. Inside a white hole, there could be intense high energy processes taking place, leading to the creation and transformation of particles and radiation. This could involve visual representations of energetic particle interactions, exotic particle production, or radiant bursts of energy. Connection to wormholes. Some theoretical frameworks propose that white holes may be connected to black holes through space-time wormholes. If this is the case inside a white hole, there could be a connection to another region of space or even to a different universe. Visualizing this concept might involve illustrating cosmic tunnels, portals, or gateways that signify the potential for travel between distant locations or dimensions. Transitory space. Since white holes are thought to be regions from which matter and energy emerge, they might represent transitional spaces where new phenomena or processes arise. This could involve imaginative depictions of transformative events, emergence of novel structures, or the birth of new cosmic entities. It's important to reiterate that these concepts are highly speculative and represent imaginative interpretations based on current theoretical frameworks. The true nature of the inside of a white hole remains unknown, and further scientific research and exploration are needed to uncover its actual properties, if white holes exist at all. How are white holes related to black holes? White holes are conceptually related to black holes as they are believed to be the opposite counterparts of black holes. To understand their relationship, let's explore the properties of black holes and how they connect to the concept of white holes. Black holes are regions in space where matter has collapsed under its own gravity to a point of infinite density known as a singularity. The gravitational pull of a black hole is so intense that it forms an event horizon, a boundary beyond which nothing, not even light, can escape. This event horizon is determined by the Schwarzschild radius, which depends on the mass of the black hole. The concept of white holes arises from the idea that if black holes exist as regions from which nothing can escape, there might be corresponding regions in space-time from which nothing can enter. In other words, while black holes act as cosmic vacuum cleaners that swallow matter and energy, white holes are believed to be regions from which matter and energy can only emerge, but nothing can enter. One way to conceptualize the relationship between black holes and white holes is through the notion of space-time wormholes. Wormholes are hypothetical tunnels or shortcuts in space-time that connect distant regions or even different universes. It has been suggested that a black hole and a white hole could be connected through such a wormhole, forming a hypothetical black-white hole system. According to this concept, matter and energy that fall into the black hole would emerge from the white hole via the wormhole, appearing in a different region of space-time. In this scenario, the white hole could be seen as the exit point for matter and energy that have entered the black hole, with the wormhole serving as a bridge between the two. However, it is important to note that the existence and properties of wormholes, as well as the connection between black holes and white holes through them, remain highly speculative and are still subjects of active research and investigation. 
Theoretical physics provides mathematical frameworks, such as the Kerr Newman metric, that describe rotating and charged black holes and can be extended to include white holes. However, the connection to real world astrophysical objects and the actual existence of white holes and wormholes are yet to be confirmed. In summary, white holes are conceptually related to black holes as their theoretical counterparts. While black holes had intense gravitational pull and trap everything within their event horizons, white holes are believed to have a repulsive gravitational force, pushing matter and energy away and emitting them into space. The idea of space-time wormholes connects black holes and white holes, suggesting that matter and energy entering a black hole could emerge from a white hole via wormhole. However, the actual existence and properties of white holes and wormholes are still speculative and require further scientific investigation. That's all in this video. If you like the information, please hit like and subscribe to this channel and be connected to this channel for more space information.